Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to side deck in Dragon against the meta. I'll be going over the matchups against Unchained Rescues, Purely, Brennan Chimera, and Centurion. If you want to know about any other decks, leave a comment and I will respond there. So this is the base list I'm going to be going over in the side deck. It's 2 Jerusalem, 1 Scarlet, 2 Talons, a Call by the Grave, 1 Feather Duster, 2 Lightning Storm, 3 Spellbound, and 3 D Barrier. So starting off with the first deck being Unchained, uh, I decided to take out the uh, 3 Droll and 2 Imp from going first, and instead I decided to put in three, uh, 2 Talons, a Called by, and 2 Jerusalem. Figure it was worth putting in Jerusalem going first, as it's overall an engine piece and it's a very strong interruption against Unchained. Uh, the 2 Talons and the Called by, as if they aren't on the Boardbreaker variant, um, then Talons and Called by are very strong against them, as Talons more than likely is going to be able to look at their hand if I have another engine piece to play through their hand trap. And if they have like something like Droll, I'd, you know, called by is pretty good against it. Going second against Unchained, uh, I put in two Lightning Storm, one Feather Duster, two Talents, one Called by, and two Jurist Swarm. Now it's very important that when you side like this deck, you take out the Triple Black Mill Dragon and the Red MD. Um, you already have a normal summon being safer, so it's kind of unnecessary, and you really only want this card for being able to play around Droll. Droll isn't really that great against uh, Unchained, so you really side out going first and second. And you'd much rather just have, you know, Lightning Storm and Duster isn't that good, I feel like it's, I'd still rather have that than a Droll. Next on our list is Rescue Ace. Uh, so going first against Rescue Ace, it's actually probably the simplest deck to side against. Uh, going first, you just take out Triple Droll, add in two talents and a called by as they do runs off hand traps. And then going second, uh, once again, you take out a Droll, and then you add in two Lightning Storm and a Feather Duster, as they are just a deck that turbos out turbulence. Now, this is the only deck where you actually keep in the Black Mills and Red MDs, just because our side deck really doesn't have enough space to put in more cards for them. If you want to, if you could put in Talent and Called By and like a Jerusalem, uh, I just don't think it's necessary. I think this is probably fine, as we have you know nine like actual hand traps to stop them. And then if they do get their playoff, Lightning Storm and Duster just hits all their back row, and you should be able to win from there. Then we have Purely. So going first against Purely, uh, we apply Triple Spellbound, Triple D Barrier, Called By, and then the two Talents. <clears throat> uh, we take out Imperms, Valors, and Droll. The reason why I put in Spellbound over uh, something like Imperm or Valor going first is for two reasons. Uh, one, it plays around Street. So if they do act like Stratus or First Engine, then first uh, play, then do a quick play spell, uh, we would not be able to target it with Imperm. However, we will be able to negate at least the uh, Xyz effect with our Spellbound. And secondly, they also probably are not playing a Spellbound for Crossout, where they will be like something for Imperm or Revealer. And then going second against Purely, uh, it's just Triple Spellbound, uh, the Called by Talents, and uh, this is supposed to be a second Talents. Uh, two talents here, but yeah, so I don't like playing things like Lightning Storm and Feather Duster as Happy protects for two turns, so it just doesn't really seem that great when they just protect whatever they want, and then the Lightning Storm slash uh, Feather Duster is irrelevant, and the Triple Droll isn't like that great. It's like a 50-50, because if they have the uh, Sleepy Memory to start off with and draw face, it's really unfortunate, but if they don't, like it's kind of fine. Yeah, they like they have to either have that or the uh, pretty memory. Otherwise, they have to go to main phase, start off with like a prosperity or continuous bell or normal summon purely. So I feel like Droll is just really good for those situations. And then once again, taking out the Black Mouse and the Red MDs, uh, we actually got a lot of the Bestial package just because, like, as long as we solve them from getting new R, even like just two engine pieces basically wins us the game. So I didn't really think it was necessary to uh, have all these engine pieces like. Three Sarnir, three Juris, and multiple uh, normal summons other than just Safer. Uh, next, we have uh, playing against uh, Brandon Chimera. Oh, so this is a very similar deck to side against Purely. Uh, we put in the three Spellbounds, three D Barriers, and the Called by and two Talons. And then we take out the Drolls, Ash, and Valor. Uh, this deck, we have a really strong matchup against, as Bistials are definitely strong against it, as well as. Uh, Spellbound just being an overall really strong card, and D-Barry just stopping them completely. 
Uh, so for the so for our own second against Burning Chimera, uh, we put in the triple spellbound and then just a called by the grave, as well as another copy of Jurusworm. And we actually take out a Lubalion, uh, just because it doesn't really do that much going second. It plays into Droll really hard as they are on the lot of hand traps. And then uh, we also take out three Black Metal Dragon and the Red MD. I really, I really don't like this card going second. I feel like Safer it's a much better normal summon as it has higher attack. So it's just like normal summon attack over SP. Uh, as well as if you are able to catch Romulus, you can dump Levinier and then you know Safer it add it back to Pop 2. Having a Droll and Imperm Valor Ash, all these generic hand traps just super strong in stacks like uh, Purely and Brandon Chimera. Uh, and for the last deck, uh, which is Centurion. Centurion is also a pretty decent matchup as Primera and uh, whatever the other one's name is. There are lights and darks. And the Synchro 12 like targets one of them in end phase, so you should banish that with your Bestial. I was going first, we put on the D barriers. Uh, it doesn't really matter what engine they're on, it doesn't matter if they're on Bestials or Horus or anything like that. Uh, the point of those engines are to get them to you know, be able to access their Synchro plays, so you really can't do anything without them. So I feel like D-Barrier is a really strong card for that. And um, Talents and Callbite. Normally they play a ton of hand traps. So, you know, Talents and Callbite are going to be pretty good. And then going second against them, uh, we put in the two Talents and the Callbite once again. Uh, two Drews and three Spellbound. Spellbound is insanely good against them, and they're probably not going to expect it. You can stop their uh, Synchro plays since uh, the Field Spell lets them Synchro Summon when they like Special and a Monster. And Talents and Called By. Uh, if you just open this, it's kind of bad if they're playing the uh, Hot Red variant. But if they're not, <clears throat> um, Talents are just a really good card. <laughs> Either being a take or draw two. And then Called By can hit one of their names if they try to reborn it. Uh, Bistials are also strong against them as the uh, Synchro 12 targets. Uh, I took out an Ash and then the uh, Black Metal Dragon Remedy and the Drolls. I just felt like these cards weren't super strong. Ash is obviously, you know, a decent card if you could pair it up with another hand trap, but I felt like Imperm and Valor just do more against the deck overall. Uh, so, that'll be all. If you guys have any questions about other matchups, just let me know in the comments below. See ya.